and today we're looking at the best gaming virtual reality headsets on the market in 2020. Samsung HMD Odyssey Plus While Windows Mixed Reality was not introduced as a virtual reality option, Microsoft eventually took the platform in that direction. Nowadays, Windows Mixed Reality also accepts Steam VR alongside the Microsoft Store, so its third-party headsets are worth considering. As a follow-up to 2017's original headset, the Samsung Odyssey Plus is a competitive tethered option that features a great screen with an impressively high resolution that is supported by Samsung's excellent anti-screen effect technology, a respectable library of games, even if Windows Mixed Reality is not always a priority for developers, and a tracking system without any external sensors. HTC Vive Cosmos and Elite version. HTC is one of the standout names in the virtual reality market, with the Vive Cosmos offering its fair share of improvements over the original Vive. While not the cheapest on the market, the Cosmos does shine thanks to its high-resolution display, pretty comfortable build with immersive integrated speakers, and moderate PC requirements that make the headset viable as an entry-level system. The base model 6 inside-out tracking cameras remove the need for external base stations at the cost of slightly less consistent hand tracking. However, the Vive Cosmos' faceplate can be upgraded for the Elite package that also comes with external base stations with enhanced tracking capabilities. HTC Vive Released in April 2016, the HTC Vive is a metaphorical dinosaur in the VR world. Even though subsequent headsets improve in certain areas, the Vive remains one of the better all-around options for PC VR gaming. Compared to its contemporary rivals, the Vive's main selling point is its 360-degree base stations capable of turning a room into a personal playground, although that comes with the caveat that a decent amount of space and quite a few power outlets are required. The Vive also supports a solid collection of games and works well with Steam VR. Hardly surprising considering Valve helped produce the headset. Five. Oh no! <laughs> oh my God! HP Reverb VR Headset Pro Edition. When it comes to Windows Mixed Reality systems, the HP Reverb presents a convincing case for being the best on the market, along with one of the most comfortable and lightest headsets available. The Reverb's crowning achievement is undoubtedly its impeccable resolution and impressive visuals, ensuring games like Half-Life Alex and The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners look as good as they can. The WMD controllers are admittedly a bit of a mixed bag, and the reverb works better using a static setup than anything involving movement. Still, compared to other headsets at the same price point, the reverb's visuals are a notch above. Oculus Go Costing less than $200 and completely standalone, the Oculus Go is the definition of an entry-level system designed for casual use. While the headset cannot run high-end VR games like Asgard's Wrath or track body movement, the Oculus Go still has a respectable library of supported games and mini VR experiences that cover all possible genres. Remember that time I got you to steal a candy bar and then you started crying? No. From shooters to multiplayer and stealth games. While not the first to be released, the Oculus Go made standalone budget VR headsets a viable gaming option rather than just a novelty. The visual and audio quality is very good for the price tag, while the headset is comfortable enough for the approximately 2-3 hour play sessions afforded by the battery. 
Using the Oculus Go, you'll be able to hang out and play games with friends, watch TV, and even browse the internet in VR. Pimax 8K Series. To make our dream a reality, we're building the highest resolution VR headset to date. 8K resolution is still quite a ways off from being the standard, but Pimax offers a glance into the future with its 8K series. The yet-to-be-released 8KX is set to offer true 8K resolution by using twin 4K displays along with a 200-degree field of view that places the headset well above the competition, and even added optional eye tracking and hand motion support. This isn't yet another VR hardware product. Until then, Pimax's Vision 8K Plus is the next best thing, although the headset offers an upscaled resolution rather than a true 8K experience. Requiring an extremely high-end PC and the budget to support it, Pimax's 8K series is very much a niche product. And we've already published our open SDK, so you can create your own projects for 8K VR. Sony PlayStation VR VR is mostly associated with PC gaming, but there is one device that is carrying the virtual reality flag for consoles. Originally released in 2016, PlayStation VR only requires a PS4 and PS camera, although move motion controllers are also recommended. Even with the PlayStation Pro, the PSVR is limited to 1080p resolution, and as such, the hardware cannot compete with the most above average PC headsets on a purely technical level. Where the PSVR shines is in its curated software library, which is filled with games that complement the system's hardware and circumvent its limitations. With the headset expected to be compatible with the PlayStation 5, the PSVR remains a great option even more than three years after launch. Oculus Rift S A trailblazer in the medium, the Oculus Rift was an early device that helped highlight the strengths and also the limitations of VR. Released three years later, the Oculus Rift S eases many of the admission barriers of the original. It costs a welcoming $399, has more accessible PC requirements, and drops the Rift's external sensors in favor of built-in cameras so that setting up and room tracking is far less cumbersome. Just place one of the controllers gently on the floor. Follow the instructions and then hit continue. More than anything, the Oculus Rift S benefits from years of support that left the Oculus Store packed with great games like Boneworks, Lone Echo, Asgard's Wrath, and Moss. Valve Index For the price of roughly a grand, Valve Index is a premium device that builds upon the company's experience with the HTC Vive to offer a top-of-the-line all-around package. The Index is very much a classic tethered system, and one that requires enough room to install tracking base stations and run all the wires necessary to power the system, along with a high-end PC that, at the minimum, needs a GTX 970 graphics card. While not cheap or simple to set up, the Valve Index delivers a highly competitive screen with an impressive refresh rate of 120Hz, controllers that are contenders for the best on the market, and SteamVR's ever-growing collection of games. Damn it. Oculus Quest If the Oculus Go put standalone VR headsets on the map, then the Oculus Quest made them an attractive prospect for more than just the casual scene. At just $400, the Quest delivers the portability of the Oculus Go and the tracking capabilities of the Rift S, along with a display and audio setup that is nothing to scoff at. While the base headset can run quite a decent selection of titles, including stuff like Arizona Sunshine, Job Simulator, and Beat Saber, there is also the option to attach the Quest to a compatible PC to access the Oculus Rift's library. 